Hey guys, it's Jessica and today we are gonna declutter mm, some of my drawers. I was gonna say my drawers, but not all of them. <sighs> That's gonna take some time. But today we're gonna start kind of my newest declutter series with my six drawers I have, I know, that are all devoted to new makeup. Sorry, there's a, there's a bumblebee right outside my window. <laughs> it's six drawers devoted to PR makeup. Makeup I've gotten in PR and it's kind of gotten out of hand, out of hand to the point where I don't even reach in those drawers because if I've put it in there, it there's so much and you'll see what I mean that I'm like, I even weeding through this to do it, I'm like, I don't know. So in the end, I never ended up reaching into it. So I'm filming this intro way after because I forgot to do a like, proper intro. And I ended up decluttering all six drawers down to two drawers. I got rid of a ton. So I ended up donating a ton, a huge box and then another big box that I ended up giving to family and friends. It was very, very cathartic and it's exactly what I needed because I feel like I need to breathe some fresh air into those drawers and get rid of the stuff that's been sitting in there for years. Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but stuff that's been sitting in there for seven, eight, nine months that obviously I'm not touching. If I haven't wanted to try it in almost a year, it's time for it to go to someone else's home. Someone else will actually use it. So this is not me being ungrateful. I hope you guys know that if you watch my channel, I'm grateful for PR, but I also spend a lot of my own money on makeup and I'd rather spend my time trying out things that I genuinely want to try, not what brands want me to try. Y'all know what I mean? Okay, let's get into it. Here is the little organization I use currently for PR. Things are changing in my little makeup room, so it's not always gonna be like this. The top six drawers of this are PR. We're gonna start at the top. I have a feeling most of this is gonna go. If over the course of six months or a year, I haven't wanted to try it, and I haven't had you guys ask me to try it, then I don't need to keep it. So I don't think I'm gonna have this many drawers of PR ever again. So I have this organized where the top three drawers are high-end makeup brands and it's eyes, lips, and face. And the next three, it's the same order, but it's drugstore, just so you're aware. So if I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna put it up here. If I'm gonna get rid of it, I'm gonna put it on the desk next to me so that at the end you can see everything we got rid of. Cause I know I feel very satisfied showing you guys that. And I know that when I'm watching the clutters, I like to see that. So we have these new milk makeup mascaras. I didn't like the Kush mascara and they sent another. I really didn't like it, you guys. It got I had black all over, so this these are all brand new. I think I'm just gonna donate all of these. There's the lash primer, there's the waterproof. I might keep the lash primer just to give it a try, but I'm gonna go ahead and donate these two unopened ones. So I've got a bunch of these ColourPop Jelly Mutt shadows. I just don't really have an interest in them, and someone else will be excited to try it. Oh, this is a backup of my MAC rice paper shadow that one of you guys sent. I'm actually gonna move to my backup store. I think I moved it out of there, but I realized I still have a little bit of rice paper left, so I didn't wanna open this until I absolutely had to. So it's gonna to move back to that by the way shameless plug I did do a declutter of my backup drawer down there if you're interested in seeing it I will link it in the cards and down below all right we can go a little faster so these are the milk makeup clear brow gels it's the clear well this is clear and this is in a color the shade is dub I don't think it's the right color for me pass these Clarins little like eye pots it's like cream eyeshadow um, I'm not gonna use the black or this red, those can go. I have a few of those that I'm actually using. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid liner. I do want to try, oh crap, I'm doing this wrong. Guys, these are the get rid ofs. I knew I would end up screwing this up. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna keep this Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. I do wanna try that. These are more of those Claren shadows, those can go. I'm trying a beige shade of that, and I actually really like it for eye primer. So that one I like, but those colors I know I'm not gonna use. Same with this, this is a really pretty Clarins shadow. Um, gosh, I might move that to my single shadow store and keep it, because it's a really gorgeous line. So I have these Beauty by Pop Sugar things. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do a video on them. Well, I really don't have any desire to, so I'm gonna pass those on. These bodyography things I'm gonna pass on. Blink gel liners. I just want one in black, but there's two here. So I'm gonna keep one to try, pass the other one on. Goof proof brow pencil. Shade 4.5 I think is my shade, but sometimes I feel like it pulls a little warm. But I wouldn't mind trying this. I actually have never tried this. These are these tweezers. Um, actually, I might trade out the ones I had. I've had them for so long. Now this, I love the Wander Beauty eyeshadow line. So I just opened the box just to see it. Gorgeous, oh my gosh, that is really pretty. <sighs> I might need to try this. Got a bunch of mascaras. I don't like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara that can go. I still have not tried any of these. 
So I am going to keep this. I've heard good things about the Hourglass, and I've actually heard really good things about the Wander Beauty one. Um, and then the NARS Climax. Honestly, I don't really hear anyone talk about this, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. The Urban Decay Perversion. Oh, there's another Milk Makeup. I'm going to pass both of those on. The It Cosmetics one. I just don't need all of these. The Brow Contour Pro. The Cub Brow is a cream gel brow. I actually am going to try that because I do like cream brow products. So I'm going to pass both of those on. Uh, this Marc Jacobs, it's their Velvet Noir Major, ooh, Major Volume Mascara. And it has my name. I think I'm going to take it out of the box, but I am going to try that. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. I have these colored liners I never use. I'm just going to pass them on. Such a pretty color though. More of the colored liners. If they have a black, I'm gonna keep zero. That's the Urban Decay, because I will use the black. This Kajal one from Buxom, I'm gonna keep, but this dual tip eyeshadow from Tipsy. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep that. I love that, it's just kind of different. It's like a powdery, creamy product. The shade is City Tan and Beach Tan. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that, that's fun. So we've got the 24 hour clear brow gel from Benefit. I don't need, I don't really use brow gel all that often. From the same brand, Be Gone Makeup Eraser. Um, if it's kind of in pen form, I will keep that because I can use that for, what is it? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I'll use that for like cleaning up winged liner. It's great for that. There's an e.l.f. one for three bucks though that I really like. And this is their liquid liner from DHC. I think I'm gonna keep that too. I've been impressed with a few things from DHC. So, so far we are getting rid of way more than what we're keeping but I'm gonna wait to reorganize just a little bit longer because I wanna see if I can combine maybe and just have a high-end drawer and a drugstore. And the only reason I like to separate them is because if I'm doing like an entire full face trying like high-end versus full face trying drugstore stuff, it is kinda nice to have them already separated. Not so this is my high-end lips. Most of this has to go. There's so much in here that I have not touched or like I already have a couple shades I love and I don't need the rest of the line. I'd rather pass it on. So this is this line from Givenchy, but it's got like different lids you can put, but I, I don't need it. I've never touched it for a reason. This Too Faced line can go. Any of these, um, those can go. These ColourPop lip products, I just don't need. I've tried so much from ColourPop and they're fine. But I just, this is so much. See, this is what I do. I'm like, well, maybe I'll try this one shade. No, just get rid of them. If you don't want to try them, you don't want to try them. I already have quite a few of these lip oils, but I think I'm going to keep the minty one and pass these two on, or like the greenish one. They're really, really nice from Clarins. Uh, I just don't need them all. I'll never go through them all. Um, the Milk Kush Lip Balm. I did kind of want to try these, but I think I already have other shades I'm trying, so I'll pass this one on. Black lipstick, I don't need, I have plenty of those. Um, and really, actually, I've, I've gotten rid of a lot because it's not my favorite. I do like the Powder Kiss line, though, um, and I think that's part of the Powder Kiss line. Laura Mercier Matte Lipsticks, I'm going to pass these on. I don't, I just don't love matte lips. MAC Lip Brush, I don't need. These Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Lips, I just... I'm just not interested. I know this is being so cutthroat and some of you guys are like, slow down, swatch them all. But again, I can't really swatch these because I want to pass them on brand new. Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Oil and Spa Day. I've never tried, but I do like lip oil. So again, I want to keep that. Oh my gosh, there's so much. This, These NARS ones. Okay, which there are different lines. This is the Velvet Lip Glide. I do like the Velvet Lip Glide line. Bound, I already own. Um, stripped, Xenon and swing. I think I might keep, keep, see this is where it gets hard, I like these. I'm gonna get rid of this one, it's way too light. This was the shade, stripped. Um, I think I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna swatch one since I know I'm keeping it. This shade, Cartagena, is so, these are just like the moosiest, most comfortable lip products. They're not totally matte, and that's why I like them. It's about as close as I'll get right now to those. These are matte, however, and I will pass these on. This is just like a glossy lip, but again, you can get this at the drugstore. I'd rather someone really get excited to use that. Um, NARS, that can go. I have plenty of the NARS glosses. So Laura Mercier recently sent me some of their lip products. I think that's a little bit too blue-toned pink for what I like. These are really creamy lipsticks, though. Ooh, the red. I might have tried this red before. This is called Rouge Electrique. I might keep that red and give it a try. These Givenchy, are these lipsticks? Rouge Interdite. Oh boy. 
I don't like the over the top, like it's too big to hold in my purse and that's very frustrating to me. So I'm gonna pass that one on. I know I'm complaining about things that are ridiculous, but when I'm trying so much, I, I, I get a little picky, you know? Um, yeah, and that's like a bright pink. These can go. Someone's gonna be pumped to own these. Urban Decay can go, that can go. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. All right, so the Je Ne Sais Quoi in the shade Honey, I'm gonna pass on to my sister-in-law. She really likes this line of the, it's kind of like a, not a mood changing balm, but it kind of like adjusts to closer, like to a nice like light color. So I think she'll really like that. I'm gonna give that to her. I love these Buxom ones, but I need to actually use them if I'm gonna keep them. Um, so, full on lip polish. Let me see these shades. I think I'm gonna keep both. I love the Buxom line. Yeah, that I'm definitely keeping. I think that glitter is so pretty. Um, it's in the shade Claire. And these plump your lips a little bit. They're, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so pretty over lip, lipstick too. They kind of smell like coffee cake, but they're plumping and slightly tingling. I'm gonna keep this one too, the shade Sugar. I already own Dolly and I really like that shade too. These are all very neutral, but that's <laughs> what I like most of the time. I do like red and berry lips actually. Yeah, these are definitely being kept, but I'll go ahead and pass on the like brighter color here and cherry flip because I don't well now I'm thinking maybe for summer since I do actually wear red lips is it matte oh no no let me see yeah that's more of like a gloss I think I will keep that that looks like a nice pretty kool-aid I just love the buxom line so these are their plump line lip liners I do want to try so I'm gonna pull those out now, we've got these Buxom Pillow Pout Creamy Plumping Lip Powder. I'm, I'm not a big lip powder person. It just clings to my dry patches. I'm gonna pass those on. NARS Gloss, I really just don't need. Oh, it's such a pretty color though. I'm gonna pass it on. Milk, oh, this is one of their lip balms. Wait, do I have other ones set aside? Hold on. Yeah, I have a couple other shades already set aside, so I'm gonna pass on these too. Um, now, I love like lip kind of lip balm kind of things. These are gloss to balm treatments from Patchology. I love Patchology's uh, face mask, so I'm interested to try that. This is from Alginus. It's their liquid collagen lip, and I do like a, quite a few Al Alginus products. So again, that will get used. Let me wipe these swatches off. A little bit of a coffee break. <laughs> All right, this. These are from Clinique. And it's one of their lipstick lines. It's their dramatically different lipstick. And I want to try these, but when I keep an entire line, it is the most overwhelming thing. These all look really dark. Let me see where the other shades are. Oh, so it looks like they have like a moisture core in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm glad I swatched that one because that's one I'm gonna keep. That's the shade number 34, Beauty. They look super moisturizing. Let me maybe pick out one more shade and that'll be plenty for me to get a good feel of this line. 15, 15 is called sugar coated. That looks like it's gonna be the same. I'm not gonna swatch that. I wanna find maybe more of like a, yeah, that, I'm gonna keep that too. Those are really similar, but they're just, this one's a little bit peachier. This pinker one is called uh, number two, Innocently. So now we get into, there's this Ilia Lip Exfoliator. This is a more natural brand. I haven't found a lot I love from it yet, but there's more I do want to try. But I prefer Lip Exfoliators in a pot um, versus in a stick, so I'm gonna pass this on. So we're getting into these really cool brands that I think Ulta sells. So there's Winky Lux. They have some of their lip products, and I'd love to try like a full face of some of these brands. Oh, that's such a pretty color. Lip Velour in Peppy or Pippi. And then this is one that's probably darker than what I would ever want. So that one I can pass on, I haven't touched. But I'm gonna keep this one. These Tipsy Absolutely <laughs> lipsticks. I'm gonna keep both of those. Cause again, this is a brand that's like actually like new to me and I love trying new brands. A lip marker I'm gonna pass on. Twinkle Lips, number two glow. It's their glossy tint. Ooh, I do like, oh. Oh yeah, it's just kind of like a light pink. I will try that. I'm gonna try that sooner rather than later, actually. This Milk Tint Milky Lavender, it's from the brand Too Cool For School. So it really is just like this slightly lavender tint. Does it go, it's for lips, right? Apply on inner lips to naturally blend or layer two to three times for vivid looking lips. 
I might give that a try, just something different. And then this glossy blaster tint from that same brand, Too Cool for School. Ooh. Yeah, so that's just a little bit punchier. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these, again, for that same reason. I wanna try some new, new brands. All right, one drawer done. We've gotten rid of even more. I mean, two drawers done, I can't count. Third drawer, this is the last high-end drawer for today, and I might have to go back through what I'm keeping and be a little bit more uh, cutthroat with it. Uh, this is the Hourglass, nope. This is a Laura Mercier uh, face illuminator. I think it's just a little dark for me. Let me swatch just a little bit. I know they can still. Yeah, that's just a little too dark for me. So that's gonna go, it's so pretty though. This Laura Mercier brush, I'm kind of interested to try. So I'm gonna keep that. Here's the deal, Too Faced comes out with so much. They're one of those brands that overwhelms me. Their brand, I think I'm gonna ask to be removed from PR and um, Wet n Wild's another where they send so much that I literally, most of the time, I'll take it straight out of the package and I'll put it in my donate box right away because most of the time there's not a lot of interest, especially in Too Faced, there's more interest in Wet n Wild because it's a little more affordable. But on top of that, I'm not intrigued by it. When it comes out so often, it's like, this is too much. Like, you can't be putting as much thought into these as other brands that are taking their time developing products. So, Kevin Aquan has these Glass Glow Face Illuminators, and they are awfully dark um, for me. So, I think I'm going to pass those on. These Too Faced Do You line, again, I'm just not interested. I really am not. I already have a shade I think I need in the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation, so I'm gonna pass these on. And I still haven't tried it, but I, oof, I've heard that it's terrible, so we'll see how that goes. So a lot of these Bodyography brand they've sent to me, and to be honest with you, I just am not interested to try. I've tried these Glazen, the Glazen Eye products, and I like those, but I don't like highlighting gels. I just don't. I like creams and liquids, but the gels are a little bit trickier to work with for me, and I'm just not wanting to try it. There's another It Cosmetics one. Um, these Beauty by Pop Sugar Trio, face trios, I do want to try. Let me see which one. Yeah, so it's, are they all powder? That's pretty cool. So this is the shade Tea Time, and it looks like it's going to be way more up my alley. That's maybe a little yellow. Let me see. That pink is like everything I love in a blush. These are really pigmented, too. Ooh, yeah, so I'm gonna try this. Let me at least look at the other shade. So this, the highlight is more pinky tone, almost like a blush for my skin tone. Deeper blush and a little bit deeper of a bronzer. So someone with a deeper skin tone is gonna enjoy that more than me. That was the shade Rich Berry. Oh, sorry, Coffee Break or Rich Berry? One of the two. This Ilia, ooh, I might try this. Um, because it's it's a more lightweight foundation, and I thought it'd be a little dark, but it kind of blended in seamlessly, so I'm gonna keep this. This is their True Skin Serum Foundation. The shade is SF1. So I might try this. This is a Beauty by Pop Sugar Tinted Moisturizer in the lightest shade, but I'm gonna get rid of the next shade up because I don't need both, but I am gonna give that a try. Um, this is a Lancome. Uh, these are like mattifying primers I've never used. I'm not big on matte skin, so those are gonna go. I'm interested by this Color Science uh, Brush on Sunscreen to kind of touch up your face. So I am gonna keep this. I, I wouldn't use it as my only sunscreen, but something to like kind of reapply on your face throughout the day to keep that extra protection. This is a matte primer from First Aid Beauty. Yeah, this isn't even open. Let me think about this one for a sec. This is a makeup primer from DHC. I do wanna try. I've heard really good things about their velvet skin coat. What's the actual bottle look like? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out so I actually try it. So I have a lot of these Wander Beauty Nude Illusion foundations. I need to figure out what shade I'm in. I have liked a lot from Wander Beauty. I've done a video. So I have Fair, Fair Light, and Light. Two of Light, so that can probably either way go. They look awfully similar, don't they? Hmm. Um, so Fair. I think this is a Dofa. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, that'll work. It might be slightly dark for me, but if that's the lightest they have, then it's as close as I'm gonna get. So that I will try. The other two I'm gonna put back in their boxes and they can go. So these are their Dualist Matte and Illuminating Concealers. I actually really like this. Um, I think I'm gonna, I already have one open though. Let me see what shade I have. My camera shut off, not sure where I was, but I have the light shade in this and it's a little bit, it's not dark, but I, I could go lighter. So I'm gonna get rid of the light and I kept the fair shade of that. This Wanderlust powder foundation I actually really like. Um, it adds a little bit more coverage, and this is the shade Light, which is my shade. So I'm gonna keep this, but again, I'm gonna move it to my backup drawer, because that way when I'm out of that one, I've got it. 
the play all day translucent powder let me look at this Ooh. okay that's adorable oh it's in the puff shut up okay i need to be playing with this right now i don't think i'm ever going to use these i keep keeping them thinking like it's like pollution protection kind of sprays but i use so many skincare products before i even let makeup touch my face that i really just don't need it the only one i could see myself maybe using i mean i could see myself using both of these is this pollution protection one where you put it on at the end. Yeah, I think I might try this one. I'm gonna pass on the rebound one though. And this Milk Makeup Translucent Powder, I do wanna try, it's translucent light, so I'm gonna keep. This is everything we're getting rid of already just from the high end. Now keep in mind, some of these are boxes that need to be recycled, but that's a lot of makeup. And then this is so far what I'm keeping. Not too bad, that would easily fit in one drawer. And I might, depending on how much I keep from the drugstore, be able to keep it all in one drawer, but we will see. All right, so looking at this, this is my drugstore eye drawer. <sighs> okay, I'm like already overwhelmed. Okay, something I know I don't have any desire to use are these Flower Beauty Fanatic eye pigments in pink and green. I won't use those. These glitters from e.l.f. and this eye glitter pigment, I also won't use. I have this Revlon Color State Brow Creator in soft brown, and I don't think that's gonna be my shade, so I'm gonna pass that on. I would need more of a dark brown so it doesn't pull too warm. I've tried this Rimmel Scandalize, and it's it's okay, but I also don't really love waterproof, so that's gonna go. Um, so Rimmel sent these Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 Liner to Shadow products, and really, I probably won't use the white. And there's this like beautiful deep green in this blue. It says metallic liner to sparkly shadow. I might keep the green and play with, I might keep both, cause that just sounds like fun. It's something that's, you know, just slightly colorful and easy to do. And that's a way that, there we go. Here are the other Revlon ones. So they also have dark brown and then like blonde. So blonde can go, I will keep dark brown and try that out. Uh, Elf H2O proof eyeliner pen. Ooh, I will try that. Okay, so I have all of these like Wet n Wild products, and I, like I said, Wet n Wild's one of those brands that sends collections constantly. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating a fact, and it's overwhelming. I'm gonna pass these on. I did do a recent trying a bunch of Wet n Wild makeup video down below where it was a bunch of their different lines. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise liquid eyeliner but it's in rose gold. That looks pretty cool. I might try that. Got big dreams, guys. So I have these Pixie shadow toppers. Um, let me just pick one. That's really what I need to do because I feel like I keep all of them like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it, and then it never happens. Yeah, they're so pretty. I mean, are you kidding me? So I'm just gonna keep this one, pass on the others. I don't need them all. I kinda wanna see what this bare brilliance looks like. Hold on, just bear with me. Maybe I'll keep two. Oh my gosh. So there's no doubt that there's glitter in this. It's like chunky glitter. Okay, fine, I'll keep those two. That's it, the rest are going. I don't have an interest in trying these CoverGirl ex Exhibitionist ones. Uh, same, the, I've heard the ColourPop BFF mascara is pretty good. Um, these just all need to go. The, half of these have been in my drawer for a thousand years. And that Lash Paradise I think was the primer. It's not the actual uh, mascara. So the ColourPop. Oh my gosh, I've had some of these in here for forever. This is like my second of some of these. I love these flower liners. I just don't need them all, but they are really good. But I already have some in my like actual collection, I'm pretty sure. Those I've had forever. They're starting to get old. Revlon Colorstay Wing Line. Oh my gosh, I just have too many liquid liners. I'm gonna pass these on. Lash Serum. I might move that to my bathroom and actually use it up because I do like number seven. I've been impressed by a lot of their products. All right, the Rimmel Scandalize in gold. I love the Scandalize liner, so I'm gonna keep that. Got these unbelievable brow things, these Catrice pigments. Is this is loose eyeshadow. That's pink. <gasps> what? That's really pretty. I did not expect it to be the way that it is. I don't know how else to explain that. Because usually in pots like this, it's like a cream shadow. So I think I've always thought, oh, that's more of a brown. I don't want that one. That one can go before I even swatch it. This one looks kind of golden, though. Let's see. Yeah, you have to be careful with these bad boys. Oh. It's so pretty. It's so delicate. Like, this is a very delicate formula. 
but it could look like a really pretty wash of color. So I'm gonna keep those two. I'll pass this one on because I don't need those. All these like unbelievable brow things where it's like a doe foot that you actually brush through your brow. No way, man. I don't know. Have you guys tried these? That just seems crazy. It might work though. I'll keep this one and get rid of the darker one. This one that I swatched is Dark brunette. Revlon Volumazing, these Kathleen Lights ones. I just never got a chance and then like the, it all dies down and it's like why, you know what I mean? This is waterproof though, so that mascara is gonna go. I've kept this Physician's Formula one to try and I do still wanna try that. I've had some of you guys ask about that, but these can go, these Revlon. Connect the dots, color stay sharp line. Is it like a cream? Yeah, I'm not really interested in trying that. I don't really want this L'Oreal like highlighter duo thing. I know they can sharpen this if they need. I might keep that. What is this? Boost and set from L'Oreal. That could work. Let me try that. All right, I'm gonna try these two. We're gonna get rid of the two color pop. I love me some Kathleen Knights but I just have a lot. Um, I don't, I'm not interested in those Revlon ones. This L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer, I'm gonna try. I don't know why that's still sitting in there, you know? All right. I have a bunch of Essence mascaras. I think I'm gonna try the Pink I Love Extreme and the False Lash, so I'm gonna pass this one on. They sent like all their mascaras over and I pass a lot on to my mom. <laughs> Okay, there's too much here. Pulp Fanatic, some more e.l.f. Some of these brushes are really good from e.l.f. Um, and it looks like some of them they might have kind of redesigned. So I'm going to keep these, but I need to open them. I'm not interested in, I'll keep those e.l.f. brushes. Because I do want to try them because I do like e.l.f. brushes a lot. But like so much of this, I'm just not going to use. I know myself. It's just going to sit in there and the next year it will still be there. So these are these Essence Metal Shock eyeshadows. I don't think I'm going to want the gold, but I do think I want this kind of more rosy. That's pretty. Oh my gosh. See, I'm sitting on all these things that I didn't even know were in here because it's overwhelming. Um, I kept keeping this out because I wanted to try it, but y'all know me. I'm not big into colors. Kathleen Lights is way more talented than me when it comes to makeup looks. But the reason I've kept it is because of this freaking color right there that's so beautiful, the Pisces. Um... I want to just use it all over the lid. So I might move this and actually try it. Because I do love ColourPop's formula and I do love Kathleen Light. So there you go. So this is the Carity Brow Goods. I just, I don't have many people asking about it. Okay, this can be quicker, okay? These lip topper things. Maybe I'll try the peach one. I need to try one of them just to see what they're like. These feel like an eyeshadow. Are they supposed to be an eyeshadow or a lip? It's supposed to be a metallic lip stain. No, thank you. All of those can go. This, I, I don't know that I can donate now that I've swatched, but the other ones I can. I just can't do the L'Oreal smell. These have to go. I can't. I wish they would change it. I don't. That smell is just awful to me. Pop Fanatic uh, from Flower Beauty, their vinyl lip. Oh. Oh, boy. It's so sticky, but that's a really pretty shade. I might keep this past the others. A bunch of ColourPop lipsticks. I just, it's their Velvet Blur. I think I've swatched this one. They're super creamy and kind of blurry. If you like, like that look, it's really kind of in. Um, but the thing that stresses me out about these is that I feel like the second I fall in love with one of them, they get discontinued because they go through so many like different things. So I'm going to keep that shade. I have plenty of the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip. I don't need this one. I do love this. It's about, I might keep this. It's their All Natural Nude. No, see, that's too brown. I do like this formula, though. I like this Essence Formula, but I already have the color I'm in love with, and it's neither of these. This is a very thin formula. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, I've got these Koki Lip products, but I don't really love these colors. Uh, Catrice Lip Lacquer. I just don't need them. We have a puppy that wanted to join. Pinocchio, what are you doing? He said the power's out, guys. It's out. <laughs> I saw a tail waggle. 
All right, looking in this drawer. Let me scooch out of the way a little bit. These are colors I don't use. It's the Essence Go For The Glow palette. Um, this is also a highlighter palette, but it's more kind of blushy. Um, I might try that, because that looks pretty. Um, I already have some Wet n Wild Loose powders I am using, like they're loose highlights. These are way too dark for me. Those can get donated. Some stuff I just know I'm not gonna use. This matte line from Rimmel is not calling my name. The Infallible Glow Lock from L'Oreal is like an illuminating primer I do wanna try. These booster drops with antioxidants from e.l.f. Um, you can use them alone or add to foundation, liquid or cream. It's got niacinamide in it. I will try that. I know one of you guys keeps asking me about it. Um, this Koki Get Ready Priming Spray or Post Makeup. Mm. I might try the post and get rid of the priming. I think Koki is sold at Walmart. Does that sound right? Daily Brush Cleanser, I need to move to my thing. And then these two sponges I do want to try. I know the Stands Out sponge Rach loves, loves. <laughs> oh, I also want to try the Makeup Drop sponge. So I'll keep that with those. That might be the shade I use. These Koki strobe lights illuminators how's this work pass on like some of these that are too dark i do want to i do want to try the nyx wonder stick and see if it's a dupe for a couple of products i love i'm going to keep this jcat uh hydrating primer this is too dark i just don't need these catrice i do want to try the l'oreal one zero shine is not what i'm looking for um I do want to try this Wet n Wild contour stick some more. Actually, I don't know why that's in there because I have tried that. Uh, okay, light correcting serum primer. I feel like I owned this and I it was okay, but it was a different shade. This is a little too deep for me for sure. I'm gonna keep rose beige and pass on sand beige. I have one more shade of this Catrice liquid coverage foundation as well that I'm wanting to try, but 30 is gonna be too deep, but 20 might be good depending i think the one i kept is maybe 10 or something like that flawless color correcting pen brighten shadows i'd be willing to try i'm not interested in this rose gold highlighter it's revlon is it a bronzer oh it's a highlighter but it's glowy hmm. um i gotta think about that oh i don't want to touch that vitalist concealer i already have one of these l'oreal ones up there i'm gonna keep it and compare the shades here in a minute gonna, what's the difference between this and this visible lift so one of these is lighter than the other. I'm going to pass on rose and keep pearl. So these ColourPop ones, I'm going to pass on between the sheets. It's a little bit deeper. Count me in, prenup, and birthday suit. Well, prenup is already getting like a really weird discoloration. Look at this. It's getting this weird like discoloration on it. So that's going to go. I think I'll keep birthday suit and count me in. Pink and kind of more of a peach. This just looks like a really pretty, almost blush for me from Catrice, the 3D Glow Highlighter and Pinch of Rose. So I'm gonna keep that. Got things falling all over the place. Is this one I was keeping? So I have these L'Oreal True Matches. I cannot find my shade in this line. I've tried for years to find my shade. I kept in one and in two. I might try them. I haven't tried this in years because I can't find my shade. I'm gonna keep this glowy one from Revlon and then let me see. I was trying to open just one of these to kind of swatch it. Ooh. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that one for sure. I'll pass the other ones on. So this is everything I'm keeping. I'm gonna organize this back into a drawer or two and I will show you that in a second. That's it. I'm pretty proud of that. Now, this is everything I'm getting rid of. <laughs> Holy crap. That is a mountain of makeup compared to that versus this. Wowzers. Just wowzers. Oh, and I'm also keeping those. I just ran out of room. <laughs>
So to give you a quick little tour, even though you saw me organize it, it's not totally organized, but at least I can pretty much see everything. I've got brow stuff there, eyeshadow stuff, lip products, mascara, and then eyeliners. And then I've got face stuff. So I've got some face powder kind of things, primers, some concealers and foundations in here, um, and then that eyeshadow palette back here. And actually, I'm gonna move the eyeshadow palette so that I actually use it. I'm gonna move it to my eyeshadow drawer. And in here, I've got, um, well, for the most part, mascara back there, face products here, some sprays and sunscreen. This is kind of a mix of like, there's liners and brow products here. I didn't know where to fit this like gel eyeliner. I guess I could put it there. All of that is lip products there. And then the powders and then like these other little like cheek products. And actually, maybe I'll move this one as well to my eyeshadow drawer. So I think that the most alarming thing here is all this makeup that I was sitting on. Sorry, I know this like angle's awkward. Um, I was just sitting on so much makeup that I really had no intention of using or I hadn't really deeply looked at. I can make excuses all day, but I'm excited that these are gonna go to better homes to people that will genuinely use them and appreciate them. So let's get all this stuff packed into a box so that I can take it away from here soon. Everything. I'm getting rid of it's a pretty thick box there. But yeah, so this is awesome. So much less that I need to worry about. And like I said, someone else is gonna use it. And then these are all things that I open to actually use that I need to recycle all of this paper. So I'll break those down here in a bit, but whew, I feel a lot better. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I've done lots of declutters on my channel in the past. If you'd like to check some of them out, I will link my decluttering playlist down below. If you wanna time travel to the past with me and check out my makeup backup drawer organization and declutter of like products that I bought backups of and things like that, I will link that video down below as well. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.